now we have to actually see the server side of the five epic collect data we collected we have used our smartphone to download an app by name epic collect 5 and uh, probably all of you will be collecting data the moment you upload the data you can only upload with the availability of internet so I suggest that you go for your field work maybe in the COVID-19 situation don't go far from where you stay take all the precautions just to feel the application how it collects data within 5 meter, meter accuracy for you please try it and then when you go back home or wherever you stay with the availability of Wi-Fi you upload the data the data comes to a site it is known as 5epicollect.net uh, you can note it 5epicollect.net login the first thing you have to do for it is to log in so I will log in with my Google account yeah similarly you must have a Google account for this if you don't have one please make one and uh, clicking next you have uh, actually logged in because I am a user of epicollect 5 since long I was using epicollect 3 and epicollect 4 also so all that I have done are stored in my project and uh, the same thing comes out here and uh, if you remember our project's name is this remember this is our site all I did is first log into this site the moment I go to the site it will ask for a login and then this is where I have collected a couple of points and I have uploaded them so so this neighborhood is the name of the project a project can contain several forms forms are you can think that they are pieces of paper in which there is a column and row style of page in which you can fill it so let us first view it i click view and there are only two entries i have made only two entries and uh, go to view data <coughs> you see both the data are there <coughs> and uh, the photographs are also there and uh, if I click on this is known as a table view and uh, this is the table view and this is the map view you see this is where it is mapped so you reduce the enlargement by clicking the minus and you can see where I live now at Hyderabad Telangana <coughs> uh, get acquainted with uh, whatever is here you see you can the name is neighborhood is the name of the project POI is the form <coughs> at the moment there is only one form there form is like filling a piece of paper with rows and columns so two points collected here so in the map uh, I can choose say open street map this is the open street map in which uh, there is a lot of detail the name open street map indicates that the data thereon is also open so you can collect the data so you see this is uh, my residential accommodation uh, and uh, there I collected a couple of them and they are separated 
I actually live here at uh, a number LH6 because I have collected the data from inside the house. Uh, I've got two of them like this. And if you click on them, I can see what I have collected. You can see created at 8 September 2020, where, where is location, where is the name I have given, and there is a close up and there is a long shot. The two. Now let's go to the other one. This is another view. Uh, this is a tennis court and uh, this is uh, a long shot. And the tennis court close up. So the form itself contains very less. Uh, let us go back to uh, the <coughs> neighborhood. Now instead of going to the view data, which you have done, we'll go to the details. And uh, if you go to the form builder, you can actually see the form. You people can try it. But don't worry, you cannot change the form because <coughs> you are not the creator of the form. <coughs> so the chances of you messing up with the form, they are not there. I welcome you to go and check it. So you see where, if you click on where, then the question comes. This is the question. This is about lat latitude and longitude. And close up, you can see the icon there. It is a picture and again long shot, long shot. And uh, details, this is uh, something you type here. Details, type it. That's how it is. So, this is a very simple form created for you. Uh, very soon, I will give you a form in which depending on the present situation of COVID-19, you can create a form. I mean, I am creating the form for you. You can create your data, not actually reading the data. You can simulate the data. That means sitting at your home, you can digitize something in your university. That is the easiest example I can give you. It is known as simulation of data. And it really suits us for the situation of COVID-19. Uh, I again request you, please don't take any action that may compromise you, your health situation. Please don't take any action. Uh, let us wait for the actual mapping of the area after the COVID-19 situation is over. We are always there with you. Our email addresses are with you. So you can always ask us and we will help you because we belong to the Open Source Geospatial, an NGO. And our motto is to help people use more and more of Open Source GIS, including the mobile data collection. EpiCollect itself is an Open Source GIS product. So now to I'll show you again. Uh, I go to back, leave page, and uh, now I can again go back. Let's see. And then there are a lot of things you can explore on your own, and you can come up with questions. Uh, what is a project and what is a form? These are questions you can ask us. So I'm going back to EpiCollect 5, the original site, go back to my projects and then go to, again I'm telling you, to begin with, this is the website you have to go. And then the moment you open the website, because I created it quickly uh, and for your usage to collect data, the name of the project is neighborhood and inside neighborhood, the form we are uh, we have filled is known as POI POI for point of interest I again clicking view data and you see neighborhood POI there is only one form otherwise several forms would have come now 
Click on map to see the map. This is already a tabular view. And this download view to take it to the GIS. Okay, with this, I exit Epicollect file, uh, the server site. So with this, try to follow it. Kudafis.